My name is Melissa Aris, and I'm a speech pathologist at the UM St. Joseph Outpatient Rehab Institute, and I'm also a clinical specialist in movement disorders. We have a variety of things that we can offer for people living with Parkinson's disease and other related movement disorders. We have a team of speech pathologists, physical therapists, and occupational therapists who all have specialized training in working with these populations. We have some specialized programs like the LSBT Big and Loud programs, as well as the Speak Out program, which is for voice. The speech therapy encompasses a wide variety of things that we can address. So I often tell patients we treat kind of everything from the neck up. So swallowing concerns, speech or voice related changes, word finding trouble or any language issues, um, as well as cognitive changes. So memory concerns or difficulty focusing, difficulty multitasking, those types of things. Here at the University of Maryland St. Joseph Outpatient Rehab Institute, we offer several programs for people with Parkinson's disease. We have the LSBT Loud program, which is driven by our speech pathologists, and then we have the LSBT Big program, which is directed by either our physical therapists or our occupational therapists. And they're both comprehensive programs designed to treat some of the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. They're well researched and they require some additional training for therapists to be able to provide them. So we have therapists who take additional training to become certified. And the programs are developed with 16 visits um, in mind, so they're intensive. It's four times a week for four consecutive weeks. The other thing that's really neat about the LSVT Big and Loud programs is that it has a built-in support for helping people maintain the gains that they've made during the program after they finish working with us. The goals of loud therapy are really to address speech and improving their clarity of their speech, increasing their vocal loudness so that people can hear them and understand them. And some of the added benefits of the program is that we often see people feel like they have more of an increase in their facial expressions, which is really important for communicating. And so it's kind of a good comprehensive improvement across the board for all types of communication for people with Parkinson's. I have, feel a special connection to people and their families with Parkinson's disease because my grandfather actually has Parkinson's disease and he's really taught me a lot about like the ways that this diagnosis can impact not just him but all the people around him and subtle ways and more obvious ways and so I feel a sort of a connection with him every time I work with somebody um, with a Parkinson's diagnosis. We are a comprehensive team of therapists, so we have speech th pathologists, we have occupational therapists and physical therapists, and we all work really closely to address the needs of a patient. And I think what makes us so special is that we're so close-knit and we have regular meetings to talk about how patients are doing, what their concerns are, and really stay in touch with patients and their care partners to really make sure that we're addressing what's important to them.